Hello, good day everyone. For our video today, we will learn how to download and set up the macro settings for M612 Redragon Mouse. I will put the link in the description below where to download the Redragon software specifically to our mouse. Look for the M612 link in the software page and click the software download link. Click the downloaded file. You can extract the installation file wherever you please or you can run it directly. Browse for the directory and where you want to put your application. For me, I would put in my local disk D and in the folder app software. Click next, then next. You can uncheck it if you want to and then click install. Wait for a while and then click finish. The Redragon Mouse app will be on the desktop. You can move it wherever you please. There are four settings that you can use to customize your mouse, namely lighting for the RGB where you can change the effect, brightness and speed. Next, the customize button where you can change the every button function of the mouse, including the scroll wheel, functions like left, right, middle, forward, back, basic, windows, advanced, media, DPI, mode, polling rate, macro manager, LED mode switch and button off. Next, the DPI mode where you can change the pointer speed, scroll speed, and sensitivity of your mouse. And lastly, the macro settings where you can configure or assign functions to your mouse. In your macro settings, click the plus button first to add your macro. Then put a name on it and click change name to rename your macro. Next, click start to record the actions you want for your newly created macro. For example, I recorded on how to open the run command and typing in the ping google.com and hit enter. As you can see, it is now pinging Google. Click the stop button and click apply to save the macro you created. Go back to the customize button. Look for the button that you want to try your macro settings. For me, I tried the forward button number five. Now, look for the macro manager and click it. Change the drop down to your newly created macro. Click yes, then click apply to save the settings. Now try clicking number five button or forward button to test the macro you created. And it's working. Let's create another macro for testing. I will make a hello world typing macro. In your macro settings, click the plus button first to add your macro. Then put a name on it and click change name to rename your macro. Next, click start to record the actions you want for your newly created macro. Note, there is a limit on how you press those keys so check the preview page if your keys are correctly recorded, then click apply to save the recorded macro. Go back to customize and let's have number 6 button or back button to use the hello world macro function. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel.